What's up guys, this is Steven Austin of Austin Tech Authority and today I'm going to be testing can you charge your iPhone 8 with wireless charging and cable charging at the same time and I'm here to answer that. So I'm going to go ahead and put the iPhone 8 Plus on the wireless charging pad and show you the results. See it's already charging, it's 89% and you can see there's no cable clearly and it's charging and I'll show you the power draw from the wall outlet is about 6 watts, 6.2. It can vary obviously depending on, you know, how the device is performing, how much it's allowing into the device. So clearly it's actually getting about 7.5 watts, which is more than Apple includes in the box, which is the stupid 5 watt adapter, which is this small brick here. This is an iPad adapter, which is 12 watts rated, but clearly you won't get that through the wireless charging pad. Plus the fact that, you know, however big the coil is that Apple put in there, plus the pad itself would be limiting factors as well as power loss. So there's multiple factors that in, will increase or decrease the wattage allowed in. And obviously the charge of the device can also have a factor as well. So let's go ahead and plug in the 5 watt adapter from Apple and let's see if the power draw increases above the 7.0, 7.2, 7.5 range. So immediately it, I actually have a current on my wire. You can see that little light that's turned off on the wire itself. It actually will turn on once I unplug this because it lets current show through the cable. It's a it's a cool cable. It lets you see how much current's going through. So the faster the light's moving, the faster the current's moving. So right now there's current moving through. And once I plug in the cable, you see that the current dies. It looks like see it goes off and then the light will turn off because there's no current going through it basically I'm just gonna leave it on there for a second and see if anything happens in terms of allowing current to go back through so I'm not seeing any current looks like that's actually going through but interestingly enough I'm getting seven and a half watt power draw but yet my iPhone only draws five watts through that cable. So that's interesting, let me take it off the cool. I just took it off, as you can see. And the power draw is decreasing. So we're getting about 6.8 or so. So actually this five watt adapter is technically not five watts. It actually is rated for five watts, but it can produce more than that. And there's a little bit being drawn from this. This is about half watts I calculated. So let me put this back on the while it's charging and see if we have anything else happen. So it appears, see it jumps back up a little bit, but I'm not sure if that's just because the device is communicating with the wireless charging pad or if it's actually allowing it to go through. Move it around a little bit and see if we can get some power draw to come through the cable. See that? Looks like there's a little current going through now. Interesting and we're getting 8.5, we were getting 8.5, we're getting 8.5 watts right now. So it actually looks like it can allow wireless charging and wired charging at the same time. Obviously it's a little fidgety and it's not designed that way I'm sure, but it looks like it can allow extra current through the adapter at the same time. It looks like now it's kind of stopped, but it looks like the iPhone is actually stopping it through the wireless charging cool it went back down but it is higher current in wattage let's go to the current and see the amps so we're pulling 0.10 amps let's pull off the iphone and pulling 0 0.09 but the wattage 0 0.08 6.8 watts let's put the cool back on and it increased dramatically this time around 9.5 let's see as you see now look see the cable you can see that there is power draw coming through the cable and it's almost pulling 10 watts through both the adapter from the iPad and the 5 watt adapter we're getting practically 10 watts of power delivery so interesting it looks like we're able to almost double the charging speed 
while using both the wireless charging and the cable. Obviously though, if you use the fast charging power delivery USB type C system, then you can charge faster than this. But I think this is a cool way to do it if you want to charge your device wirelessly and wired at the same time. I don't know why you really want to do this, but it's kind of cool that you actually can charge through wirelessly and through the cable at the same time, which is quite interesting. As you can see, we're getting power through here and it's plugged in, so it's actually charging at practically double the rate, which is quite interesting. See right now we have 10 watts, 10.1 watts. But it's quite interesting that we're able to practically double the charging speed. So thanks guys for watching. Like if you like this, dislike if you dislike this. I'm gonna be doing a test on the power delivery USB type C system for the iPhone 8 soon. So check back with me later on that. Thanks guys for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.